Hello everyone, so in this video, how to transform the Windows 11 to Windows 10. So, so I provide a link in the description to download a file. So it is simple to transform it, but I'm gonna show you the tutorials. Firstly, let's run the setup. You see on the downloads folder, so you should run the setup. So you should agree the destination location 11 to 10. We need about 60 megabytes, it's almost 60. So, yep, ready to install. It starts installing. And there we go. So, once you just complete the installation, go to the file explorer and go to the to 11 and 10 and here's the the one I'm gonna do but first let's make a system store click start and type system restore make sure you, you see the create restore point just click this click create and let's add some restore point don't forget if you get started so if you don't create it you won't recover your PC so click create this might be take a while though once you made the restore point click a click click close all right so once you get, once you create the restore point, go back to the folder. And first of all, let's install Explorer Patcher. Oops, I think I'm in the wrong folder here. Um, click Explorer Patcher, and don't forget to want to set up. And there you go. You you see the Windows 10, Windows 10. Um, settings here and right click and click properties click about import settings and find a folder as you know this disk drive and see the explore patch here. you see the registry key yep that's it so click this one and you should apply the registry and you should just in the your command prompt thing and click the start file explorer and still has windows 11 so i don't think this might actually work so if it's if, but it what is sh if if anything says windows 11 you just, just click the taskbar and set the taskbar style to windows 10 so now we got the search tool and then in task view bar and a classic start menu so click so once in a taskbar view, you should test the bottom taskbar. So if you want to top, left, you you should be started after you change the settings. Um, combine taskbar always combine, and make your taskbar really small. If you want, and don't forget click File Explorer, and click Control Interface. Make sure it's Windows 10 ribbon. And make sure whether it's turned on if you want. Next stop we're gonna do is we should go to the apps folder. Click Winable Tweaker. Click main and one Winable Tweaker over here in the over here in the executable file. Click agree. And you should go to the disable copilot and disable the copilot thing. 
go to the dark color scheme. So Windows 10 uses Windows the dark color scheme and click the startup sound and make sure it's it's disabled. So if you want to add personalization of, of the old Windows 10, you should add it. But well, yeah, it's it definitely won't. make sure. For all of you, you should enable, click this and add, take ownership. So now when I right click the file, it take ownerships. Next stop we're going to do is to uninstall some of the MS applications. So we auto, it auto dark themes for you. Um, you should go to the start menu, click and go to settings, go to apps installed apps yep notepad so it, what we're gonna do is click the three dots here and click uninstall it's because windows 10 doesn't have that same with the paint one so so if we want just to put it on the start menu type notepad here if, or if you want to put the start menu just go to the this pc and find notepad in this one. When you want to find notepad, just control C. And and percent app data percent. Go to Microsoft, Windows, Start menu, Programs and paste. And go to Accessories and paste it over here. Next up, you should install Paint. Because MS Paint has been removed in Windows 11. So you must install Classic Paint. Click Next. And you must disable the feature. So since you have already disabled it. So. Yep, see it's done. You have to do it. Click Next. Select for all users. And there we go. So you're now running the old paint. In Windows 11. See, I can type hello. Hi, it's actually good. And, and it automatically shows in the, on the desktop. Next up, click the old task manager and, and copy to this folder. Click here and copy here. I'm gonna click press control. You should apply the permissions. And there we go. So now, the task manager. Maybe make sure it's true, by the way. Make sure. Make sure the task manager has to be removed. So go to the Windows system. And delete task manager. So now, you're warning at the old task manager so side note this task manager is running 32 bit so well, unfortunately i don't have any 64 bit version but i don't i know this actually works so yeah old task manager works next up you should go to the windows folder and press f2 here Click branding dot old and you should apply the folder. Once once you rename it, go back to the folder quickly and copy it and paste it over here. Make sure it has been paste. So click continue. And repeat this process again. For the resources folder, you should go to themes and copy the except arrow, but this control C and go to the resources folder right here. Resources folder and click themes and control V. 
make sure you must delete this this one. Uh, I forgot to make a permission. So while the take ownership has been enabled, you may actually use take ownership thing. So if it doesn't work, just go to the just spam it again until you just enable that and there you go so click the windows folder and click the web right press f2 on the web and type it old and repeat the process like earlier go back to the folder copy the web folder and paste it over here And there you go. So you should go to the personalize and apply Windows 10 wallpaper. Yep, there we go. You succeeded to use all this one. If if even troubleshooting about the lighting and you don't have time to activate Windows, you should go to Enable Tweaker. Just, you just go to the file explorer and click this PC. We want Windows Tweaker. If you don't have time to activate Windows, there you go. And click dark color scheme. Make sure apps use light theme and click and there you go. Like take effect now. Or you just sign out. Oh there you go, take effect. Next up. This is the reason why I'm enabling the personal personalization classic. Because we get next part is is to change the icons of the the system icons like recycle bin the pc and the network thing and the user so go back to the window tweaker and enable add personalization click add classic personalization so just like that then go back to the control panel click this and click personalization and click change desktop icons so click this PC and change icons click browse and go back to the folder and you see the icons folder yep that's the contains the icons so click OK repeat this process like earlier Okay, so once okay, so once you change the icon, click apply and click OK. Now the recycle bin is now this color and okay, okay guys, it's finally completed. So once you just complete it, you fo don't forget to restart your PC. So to add some stuff in the start menu, just go to the task by settings, click, uh, go to sensation, click the start, click folders, and you should add whenever you want, like videos, network, it will show tasks in the settings, just like in Windows 10. So now, when you complete it done, you should restart your computer and you see the final result. So you have finally transferred to from Windows 11 to Windows 10 completely. So have any thoughts of this? Well, yeah, half of it. So we have half of Windows 11 and half Windows 10. What we're gonna be?
So guys, thanks for watching, and see you again for my next video. And take care.